Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers 2007 Deluxe Class Brawl. So here he is in his tank mode, and I actually think it's a really nice tank mode. I actually really do like the way it looks. Um, I like all the, uh, you know, the camouflage detailing going on, and everything like that. I, I just think it does look really nice. You got the, you do have some kind of, uh, like, canisters back here, and of course up top you have his turrets, and you have the big cannon right here. You got some other guns over here, which are on ball joints, and on a mushroom kind of swivel joint there so uh he did come with a uh, red missile but that has been lost because i've had this figure for uh like what 13 14 years now so uh yeah <laughs> the, the, the red missile's gone sorry but overall though i do think the tank, tank mode looks really nice uh it does have uh four rolling wheels one two yeah four rolling reels so it can Kind of roll around. I mean, he more glides than rolls, but you can kind of just drift him if you wanted. So there's that. But yeah, as far as tank mode goes, I believe that's about it. I mean, it looks really good. Looks like a tank. So I suppose we'll just get down to the uh, transformations. So uh, first thing I do is I take these pieces right here, kind of untab them and fold them back. Kind of take them, untab them, and fold them back. Now, one thing you're probably going to notice, um, actually, I'm I'm just going to transform this separate because it's going to pop off, but this top section, um, yeah, it just it just comes off. So uh, I'll do his this part first because that's just going to fall off regardless. But just kind of want to take the section, swing it around, and kind of leave it like that. Uh, take the legs, split them, take his feet, kind of fold them out, and then I'll you know, take this section and swivel this back to become his heel spur. So I'll kind of take that and angle it back. And you have that all done and they do have some automorph down uh, up, up here when you bring up his or bring down his chest these side treads fold up and his head pops up so that's really cool so i just want to take this section right here and just kind of collapse this up against the back and then that's it for uh for that part and i guess we'll do his arms now so um kind of come to the side here bring the section out kind of rotate these uh turk cannons up kind of bring them out to the side like so kind of bring them up and bring them out to the side like so you then want to take it and rotate it around well or not there we go rotate that around see if something that looks like that kind of fix these sections right there like so then you want to take this cannon kind of take it and then you're going to want to pull the arm kind of pull it out take this arm you can actually pull this out and then what you want to do oh you also want to take these side sections here and bring these out and then you want to take the arm bring it out and take it and rotate it back in so you have something that looks like that and we'll do the same thing on this side kind of take the arm kind of bring it out and bring it down and then you just want to take this section and rotate it around like so kind of rotate the turret around and then i think we should be able to clip this back onto his back um kind of snap that back on now you're gonna want to take this section here and plug this into here now it's not the most secure connection i mean it does just pop out real easily so what i do is i kind of take it and shove the arm up under here and then take this section and bring this down and that kind of keeps his arm up into place so that's what i do uh, you want to take this claw section and bring it out like so and kind of keep his arm in place like that and then you want to do the same thing on this arm kind of bring it up oops bring it up kind of bring this out to the side and fold that panel down and then you want to take the cannon and shift it up like so and rotate that forward get this all straightened out like so and there you have the 2007 Deluxe Class Brawl fully transformed and in his robot mode. And I think it looks pretty good for a Deluxe Class. I actually do really like the way he looks. I think it looks pretty, pretty dang cool. So you can close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. I love the red for the eyes and the gold kind of on the mouth, around the chin there and on the, uh, the head crest. I think it looks really nice. And you do have some more gold details kind of all throughout on the legs and on the arms and a little little gold right there on his crotch some silver detailing up in there and i mean he's got a fairly clean transformation for the most part i mean 
it's a Bayverse, you know, brawl. So <laughs> what you see is kind of what it's supposed to be. So uh, for articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can kind of do what you want with it. The arms are on a ball joint. He does have a elbow swivel and an elbow joint. Uh, doesn't have anything at the wrist. These claw pieces are on hinge joints. Uh, he does not have a, he doesn't have a waist swivel, but the hips are on ball joints. They can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. Um, and they kind of act as a thigh swivel. He does have 90 degrees of bend at the knee and he doesn't really have anything in the feet. He's, he's not the most posable thing, but I mean, it's a, it's a movie brawl. I don't really think he did a lot of dynamic poses in the movie, but and um, unfortunately, at least on my copy, but again, this is very old. I mean, this is, I've, I've had this, I had the, I, blah, 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 blah. I got this figure when it first came out. So it, it is a very, very old copy, but um, this back section here and all this does not like to stay tabbed in. I mean, and these are also a little loose on mine, but I mean, again, that's kind of, you know, with age and the cannon is very, very floppy and loose too, so. Unfortunately, you know, again, that's just kind of a thing with uh, with age, so I can't really knock the figure. But uh, for comparison, here is the uh, the Deluxe 2007 Brawl, and here is the Leader Class 2007 Brawl. And, uh, oops, well, uh, there's that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a clear... Uh, unfortunately, as much as I really do like this figure... Um, that one wins. That one's a lot better. <laughs> he, he, he's just... It's just... I mean... He's bigger. He's beefy. He's brawly. So, yeah. Definitely prefer this one over the Deluxe. But I still really like the Deluxe, though. So, But, um... Yeah, as far as the Deluxe 2007 Brawl goes... It, I do like the figure. I think he's a very nice Deluxe. He's a very simple Deluxe. And I just like how... Um, I just like it. I, I just, I don't know what it is about it. I mean, it's not the best movie toy, but I mean, it, it's just, it's just fun. And I think he looks, like I said, I think he looks pretty cool and looks really good. Um, I mean, yes, the leader class is way better. And if you had to pick between the two, definitely would get the leader class over the deluxe. But I um, happen to have this since, again, it first came out. And uh, I just got the leader class recently. So, you know, I kind of already had this. But um, would I recommend it? Um, well, that's the thing. If you like, you know, the 2007 Brawl design and whatnot, I, and you just like Brawl figures, I definitely rec would recommend it. But if you already have the leader class, there's absolutely no point in getting this one, because why would you? You have the leader class, you don't need it. But if you're like me and you kind of want to have all the 2007 figures just to have them, like I said, I do recommend it. I think he's a fun figure, and I think he's a cool figure, so... Uh, that's going to be about it for the review. I um, Again, I do have an Instagram. If uh, any of you guys want to follow me or whatnot, I'll leave my at in the description down below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and have a good one.